Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Motzkas, and today is our Sunday box opening. Hi! She's here, and the baby. She's snoozing. Okay. So, and no, not back to work, no. but she has to help me a little bit. So I don't know, you know, no one ever talked about the fact that Fabric Chat was an hour late, but, um, you know, they didn't care. Like, I don't know. I got, to, I got a lot of texts. Hey, right, right. Hey, what's going on? Hey, is everything okay? Everything was fine. But what happened was I, um, so I'm sure everybody knows by now that what we do is we film the day before we mm -hmm. film on Tuesday so that we can go home. So it used to be that Brianna could go home, edit everything and have all the links done and have everything ready to go Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. Well, Brianna's on maternity leave. So you got me. And I know I told you all that I know how to do it. I'm just not fast at it. That's not what was happening. Her computer totally was just being a big old poop head. It, would, it wouldn't read the SD card that had all of the footage on it, but it would read empty ones. It would read empty ones. It would read old I ones. could take it to a different computer and, it, and it would read it, but that computer doesn't have the Movie Maker software on it. So then I tried to download the Movie Maker software. Well, that didn't work. So then I went to a third computer, my computer that has all of my payroll, uh, that kind of stuff that never, ever, ever goes online. It's never been anywhere, you know? So I thought, oh, I'll put it in there and transfer it from there to a flash drive. 55 minutes to download it. And she lost it. <laughs> it didn't work. Couldn't I don't know where it. it was downloaded, but somewhere on the computer, I couldn't find it. Cause it was called, you know, something, JPay, JP, I don't know, whatever. I thought, oh, screw it. After looking for it for 15 minutes, I'm going to try it a second time. Mm. 55 minutes and I'm watching, I'm watching. And by now it's like, what, 1.30 in the morning? Easy, yeah. I know. And yes, I was, I think the last time I FaceTimed you was... 11? Maybe. It was 11. dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm FaceTiming yeah. so I can show her it's doing this, it what says this? this. And on her end, it's just black. It's like, okay, I realize you're in bed and yes, I can hear... Robert giggling because as I'm FaceTiming her, my phone dies. Yeah. <laughs> After her, both peers had died and it's just been this. Yeah, it was pretty funny. So anyway, what we were going to do Wednesday morning is we were just going to do Fabric Chat Live is what we were going to do. But Brianna, well, let me take a look at it. And Brianna was able to do whatever wizardry mm -hmm. she had to do. So, but it took a little while to... It took longer than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, to render it and then to upload it to YouTube and then for you guys to see it at, what, 9.20, I think, yeah. when it went up. So, anyway, and that was why then we didn't comment on it Wednesday night for the box opening because we had already filmed that before all of that, you know, Mumbo shenanigans happened. 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 So, anyway, so that's what happened. Super sorry that we were late, and mm -hmm. it was so sweet. The people that were worried, is everything okay? Yeah. Is everything? Yes. It's coming. Okay. It's coming. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's what happened. It's just one of them days. <clears throat> yeah. So that's why she's back, uh, because Barbara was absolutely willing to stand in one more time. It's like, no, Barbara, if she comes and does it, she'll <laughs> take that little disc with her. <laughs> Everyone wants that. So, yeah. um, so anyway, so, but Barbara did a really nice job. Yeah. Yeah, she did. And everybody was so kind and said how nice it was to see her. So it's nice to know we have a really good stand in. Yes. And, um, oh, oh she's really, right. I'm here's some like, noise. I was wondering if we were going to be too loud, but we've already been <laughs> chit chatting and catching up and laughing pretty loud. Like she's, to, she's back there doing stretches, all kinds of arms. Stretches. Oh, and, and she's and, not, um, she doesn't care about noise. She doesn't care about noise at all. Yeah, because we've been very loud in here this morning cleaning up. And yeah, she totally doesn't And she care. has a five and a four-year-old sibling. So. Who are very loud. Yeah. Speaking of that, oh my gosh, did you hear about the new law in Hawaii? This is no kidding. They've made it illegal to laugh loudly in public places. Oh, well, I might not be able to go back to Hawaii. You can only have <laughs> a low ha. I cannot go. Put up, put up, I know that's what I was. I don't remember who it was. I think it might have been Janet. It was some. Oh no, no, it was. Um, it was. Uh, Lori Gilmartin. Oh, funny. Said that. <laughs> and I'm reading it. She goes, oh, did you hear about the new law in Hawaii? And I'm thinking, oh, oh no. no. What, what was what the punchline? You can only have a low ha. A low ha. <laughs> a low ha. Oh, yes. A low ha. Ah. Uh, 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 I'm still sick. Uh, <laughs> took her into the 
catch up. You can only have aloha. <laughs> that was too cute. Aloha. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways. Um, and we should, uh, I don't know that anybody new finds us anymore, but I think I always, we always forget when I watch some other, um, YouTube channel, they're so good about saying, welcome to my channel. Uh, I this is my name and you can find us here. And we never say that. We no. think we're just so used to finding friends and you must know who we are. But, um, if you're new to our channel, we are a mother daughter, uh, group that, um, we've owned a quilt shop in central Washington for 23 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tracy is behind us. She is our shipping master. And um, I prefer mistress. Mistress. <laughs> <laughs> mistress. And uh, we do, I think that it is unusual that we ship things out same day. Yeah. Uh, your order, when you order it from us at fabricpatch.net, we are .net, not .com. Um, we, we send your stuff out within 24 hours, unless you've ordered on like a Saturday. Uh, she is not here on Sundays, but Monday it'll go out. Um, so anyway, so what we do is we do our box openings on Wednesdays and Sundays, and we show you things that have just come into the store. So you get to see our brand new fabric. We show you up close and we link it, um, um, at the website. Or if you go to our website, find shop online and there's a little, you can scroll down and, um, click on. Uh, there is a what's, what's new it? section. Mm -hmm. And if you just go to the what's new, um, it's all up at the top. Otherwise, if you just go to shop online and you click on fabric, it's all alphabetical. So you can find it that way also, but what's new is super easy. Yeah. Yeah. But scroll down and see everything else. And Clarence, yikesy. Um, you guys, you guys had fun with that. Wash. Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot, of, which was really, really good because it cleaned it all out. So, um, which is really good because now we can go Get some and stuff. put some new stuff back there. And that's really the whole thing. We do have some other stuff that we could have put on clearance, but... Um, we just didn't have any room back there. You couldn't even get like, yeah. I mean, we it's put across from the bathrooms. And so we can't really have, and we've decided, I mean, if you've been to our shop, you know, we pack it in here, but we have always since year one, we're never having fabric in the bathroom. No. So once it gets <laughs> too big, it's okay. We're out. <laughs> got to sell it all. Yeah. Before yeah, you don't want to shop in there. No. There's other things no. you got to do. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So anyway, so you've cleaned it out. So we'll be adding some more stuff. And if you, what we'll do is we'll leave it right now. Our clearance is $5 a yard, which is significantly less than wholesale. Yeah. Um, and we do a flat $9 shipping fee. Um, and then uh, for anything in the United States, we do have to, uh, if you are out of the country, what we do is Tracy weighs it. She finds the cheapest way to get it to you. And then she sends you a uh, PayPal invoice. Uh, you pay your PayPal invoice and then she ships it to you. And sometimes it's expensive, but we love that people from Australia order from us yeah. and people from Germany, New Zealand, uh, New, New Zealand. Zealand. And, yeah. We um, love that. The dark continent. Who, I mean, I don't the know about anymore. The but, dark continent. Um, Africa. We have a couple oh, Africa. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's awesome. Africa. But it's been a while. Yeah. Which I think it's hard to get it to them. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but, uh, we love that. We, uh, I was talking to somebody online the other day. It's like, no, no, it's like name dropping people from Australia yeah. or from us, which we, when really we love. go back there and spend a month, we have people to see. We're going to look up some people. Yeah. 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 We love Australia and New Zealand. New Zealand. That was the best, probably one of the best vacations. I think my best vacation ever. Yeah. You just have to stay there. You can't just go for two weeks. You have no. to go for like a month. No. Yeah. There's to... too much to see. Yeah. It's, there's a lot there. We went there. It was our last big family vacation when the kids had to do everything we said. <laughs> so Jordan had just graduated from high school and was going in the Navy. And we were all going. Up. And they all had to come and they all had to be right where I said, and this is where we were going to eat. Um, this vacationing with adult children is way harder. <laughs> they think that they are the boss of themselves. We can do themselves. whatever we want. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All right. So let's see. So first we have some presents. So it's all kind of fun. fun. This says to me, but I'm thinking it's probably for you. Okay. And I should mention, um, we, um, there was a couple other things. Uh, you have a new book. It's a Southern thing. There was a Christmas one. Another one from Jan Kalanick. Mm. Um, and then what else? There was two that I was going to remember to say. I do have thank you cards to send. Oh, and who, uh, I just lost the name. 
I s took home a present. Um, gosh, who was it from? You do, do not bend on it. It had two books in it. It had the 12 gifts of birth. And Baby Makes oh, Five, the Berenstein yeah. Bears. Oh, we did deliver so, that one. Who was yeah. that? I need to write my... I had that thank you card ready. I just forgot to bring it. Oh. I remember yeah, seeing the, the Berenstein kids, Bears and Baby Makes Five. Baby Makes Five, yeah. yeah. The kids loved that one. We read it all. To, baby was awake and we all read it together. And they thought it was pretty cool. I think that's probably for you. It says to me. Let's see. Nana and Pa. Oh, it's to Nana and Pa. Really is for you. Cindy, feel free to re-gift if you don't need one of these. <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness! That's cool! This so happy for oh, your beautiful family. Lots of love and big hugs. Oh, from Jennifer Robinson. The new oh. baby girl full of giggles sprinkled with love. That's so That's nice. cool! That's your colors. It Little is my sparkle colors. of red. Oh, That's cool. It's from Jennifer Robinson. That's so nice! That's really neat. That is really nice. Look at the little coffee cups in there. That's, That's cute fabric. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, it's... she did not get this fabric here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what it is. Someone's going to say, what's the fabric? Oh, That's very thank cool. you, Jennifer. Oh, that's super nice. A new baby girl. Oh, congratulations. That's so nice. Thank you. Yeah, Dad came in this thank morning, you. and I was changing Little Miss's butt, and she was just on the table behind us, and I was changing it, and Pa walked in, and he's like, why do you have the baby on a table? It's like, well, <laughs> am I supposed to? I don't, I'm changing your butt. Yeah, but that's hard. <laughs> yeah, and then he says, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Thinks, so, that's hard. And she's on a blanket, so I mean, it's all just a table, but yeah. She totally didn't care. He was, he was very upset that his it's little baby. You're up now. Yeah, I know. You would have thought he would have, like, yeah, that's right. But he's still um, too nervous to hold she's her. She's so little. Uh, she's still so little. He is. Like oh, I'm gonna wait for a little. Thursday, bit. she had her um, visit with our primary care doctor, and um, she is five. Was five and a half pounds, so we might need Humanous. five and a quarter, three quarters. <laughs> Yay, so baby! Little. But she looks really good, and she's doing really well. So and doctor was chatty. We it's really nice because our little local, our local doctor, Doctor Bridget, all of us go. We see all, yeah, the whole. Just, he sees all the kids, all the kids' kids, all the mm -hmm. mom and dad. He got he's, the whole family. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's good because he. I don't go very often because I mean, huh. You know, I'm healthy. I'm pretty healthy. So he spends, every time I go in for the kids or whatever, he spends like 10 <laughs> minutes. So tell me. Have some questions. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I appreciate it's it. It's good. And I know that I can call anytime and yeah. ask a weird question and he will call me back or have a nurse. And he's super yeah. good. Something just so nice about small, small town, town doctors. doctors. Yeah. And he's really I good. I totally agree. All right. Brandon Robert, so happy for your new mm. arrival and so thankful. Um, so much fun picking out pink girl things. Couldn't resist the shoes. Ooh, Harper's going to love those. Uh, best wishes, Pam and Rick. So Pam and Rick are, um, so they came to the retreat. They're from Portland. Mm -hmm. And they came to the retreat last year. And it was the first time ever a guy came. Yes. And so he came also and so. And, and he kept up with everybody. Great. He Oh, he did good. I think he was the first, wasn't he the first, first one, one to done? finish? But a lot of it is that he's very quiet. Yeah. He sits and he's not chatty chatty and everybody else is chatty 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 and he's not so much. And so I think he was more, his oh my the gosh. Sizzle moccasins. Oh, oh rose cute. 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 That is Harper's really gonna like cute. those. Harper's gonna be sad these don't fit her. No. <laughs> she keeps trying to dress the baby and she, she wants to put shoes she on. She really wants to wear shoes and socks that aren't knee highs. She doesn't like knee high <laughs> socks. <laughs> well, but <laughs> the little baby socks fit her like knee, knee highs. <laughs> and yeah. at least stay on if they're oh, knee high. So yeah, Harper wants me to buy new socks. Like, well, they don't make socks that small. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Footy pajamas. Cute. Happy little princess. Oh. Yes. Cute. Cute sweatshirts. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, Minnie Mouse. Oh. I love the ruffles. Yeah. That's cute. Nice. Perfect. I love that. Oh, oh that's gosh. little. Oh, and cute. That's super cute. And that can just be a little romper. So soft. Doesn't have to be for bad. Uh -uh. Cute. No, that's cute. Oh, another footy oh, pajamas. I love footy gosh. pajamas. That's adorable. Love them. I remember Eliza. I mean, until she's finally too tall for footy pajamas. She loves footy pajamas. She gets so cool. Gosh, that is a Look full those box. Those little pants. Oh, wow. Cute. Cute. Those are really good with the little... Really, really cute. Oh, 
cute. cute. Thank you, guys. Really cute. Thank you. I love that's all warm really stuff. Really nice. Because yeah. if she's not sweating, she is not warm enough. She she um, is, she, is she? She's doing some hand aerobics. Yeah, she's um, the only one that didn't doesn't like to be swaddled. She doesn't like to be wrapped up really tight like a little burrito. The other two loved it. Harper, you could Robert could not get her tight enough. Um, so I couldn't do it because it's like Robert could get her tight but happy, and he loved it. So he was all game. He's like, I'm ready to swaddle some baby. Um, but she doesn't like it. She'd rather just be able to stretch her arms, stretch her feet, which makes sense. When she was in cooking, she was always pushing and. Not enough room, but mm -hmm. kicking you all the time. Kicking me all the time. We kept thinking she was going to be so tall because she yeah. was always. And stretching. she still might. I mean, she's got some massive fingers. Is she awake and stretching? She's just, she opened her eyes. She was and smiling she was and. Rubbing her feet. Yeah. She's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. Yeah. She's a sweetie. We'll bring her over. You'll see her in a minute. Yeah, she'll wake up before we're done because it oh, takes us a, take a while. Us a long time. Yeah. She'll wake up. Did you bring your... Um, I didn't. Oh, and um, Moses Lake girls, Cindy, Kat, and Peggy, they got me a Tula. Oh, nice! I was going to bring it, but I don't know where Robert put it. It wasn't in the baby room. So I don't know where he thinks mm. or what he thought it was. <laughs> yeah, he's punishing you for his... I know. I should tell you. I should tell you on Wednesday. Okay. I will tell you on Wednesday. Yes, I have a good Robert less story. people watching. Yeah. have a... A special Robert crowd. story that's hilarious. Yeah, it's a special, special crowd. Story. We, we can't risk that a <laughs> that one of the PUD boys is going to watch this. I know. I totally read it out. <laughs> totally. It's like, oh, that's who you are. I know your wife. Yeah. yeah. I know what you. Think. Um. But yeah, they got me a pretty great Tula. So yeah. But I know for a while, like I know Harper was too small, so I'm pretty sure she doesn't fit in there. Or I'll have to put a little booster blanket underneath there. But oh yeah. Yeah, I'll bring it when we're oh, here. Those are here. So nice. I mean, you can use those. Yeah, and it's a good. The Tulas are really good. They're a little expensive, but um, they are so much nicer than just like the Walmart brand stuff. And if you it's, don't know what that is, but it's a, um, it's a yeah, it's a baby carrier. But instead of like a little backpacky thing. Um, it is like this wrappy thing and it does this whole cool wrappy thing and you can do it all kinds of ways where you can hold the baby on your hip or you can hold the baby wherever and it works really well because I used to do that. I always had a baby on my hip. I mean, it was that whole stand, you know, all yeah. the time and because that was more comfortable for me, but, um, but you can, yeah, you can do all kinds of, you'll good. see because yeah. she'll have and that And there's big straps so you don't feel all of morning, the, morning. Second morning. <laughs> you don't have all of that pain from narrow straps or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Has a little yeah. pocket. Super good. Um, this box is Villa Rosa. So this is the Villa Rosa month three. So let's show those let's show. and then this we'll show. This is essentially March. We're still in January. What are we in? Yeah, we're still in January. Well, we started Oh, in December. December. We did January. January February. February. It's the third one. That's right. Yeah, so the Villa Rosa. So mm -hmm. what we're doing is we have the new, and wait, wait, we have, we have to say good morning. Good morning, CK. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. She's still wearing snowmen. <laughs> You're still wearing sparkles. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, it's not, oh, it's still winter. Yeah, it's hey, still it's all right. Sp <laughs> yeah, you can wear sparkles all the time. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so Villa Rosa, so what we did is we subscribed to their new pattern club. And so what happens is they're brand new patterns that not yet in stores. So they've sent to us. And so what we have is these will be, and we'll show them to you. But um, what you can also do, and it's not too late, is um, you can also subscribe to the club and we'll mail them to you. So what you can do is you can purchase them for uh, their $2.99 each. And so we'll have these all online. We'll show you what all of them are. Yeah. They're actually pretty clever. And that one looks like, what do you guys just open? Um, Ruby. Oh, it's more navy. Like Ruby. But it's it makes you look like Ruby. It's red and blue is the cover, but imagine black. And what's kind of nice, and we like to, what's really, really nice is that it's a very compact little pattern. Yeah. Um, you can put it in a little gift card. You can put it in a birthday card. You can do whatever. But the other thing I feel like it's important to mention is that it is pretty simple directions. And so they're going to believe that you understand when you're supposed to press, how you press your seams, that mm -hmm. it's a quarter inch seam allowance. They're not going to tell you all of the basic stuff. They're going to tell you that it takes 42 five inch squares and two backgrounds, one yard each. 
that's it, and binding a half a yard. And then they're gonna tell you how to cut from the background or whatever, they tell you what to cut, and then they show you what you're gonna be piecing and how it goes together. So uh, all of the directions are there, but if you need to know a lot of specifics, mm -hmm. these they're probably not necessarily beginner patterns, but they Unless are you have cool. a beginner book that gives you all of the, oh, yeah, there you go. what you need to know is how to do the bindings. Have that mm -hmm. one next to you so that you can, it's a good way to learn how to read a pattern, essentially. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all of, yeah. otherwise all the information's there. It's just not gonna yeah. tell you. And now press the dark or, yeah. The other thing that's nice about these little cards is that it's easy to kind of store them. If you just have mm -hmm. an old recipe card box or a new recipe card box, mm -hmm. you can kind of put them in there and thumb through. Otherwise, who isn't wondering what book was that in? Yeah. What magazine? Why was I saving that one magazine? And then you don't want to throw a quilting magazine away until you go through it one more time. Right. But you don't know what am I sewing this year mm -hmm. that I'm kind of not into five years from now. It it's, gets to be almost too much, but these are kind of fun. So I yeah. really do like them. I have a lot of these and I do put them in a recipe card file. Mm -hmm. So, um, so $2.99 each or if you also want to be a part of the new pattern of the month club, we still have a couple spots available in that yes. because what we do is we're going to take these five and instead of two ninety nine, they are a dollar ninety nine, and we you only pay for your shipping the first time, and then after that we pay for your shipping every month. And so what will happen? I should get these. So if you joined now, we would send you, and you have to prepay for all of them. So it's one deal and it's yeah. um a, it figures out to a buck 99 or the other way that you can look at it is you get like what was it 24? Eight, 24 it's a lot 24 patterns for free mm -hmm. um and then the shipping after you've paid that first time you don't pay for shipping again but um but i think the first one so here's your little first packet five. of five that were i think december's and then here's the next five and these were the ones that were january's and so these five are the ones that are for technically for February. And these again are all new. So if you are a Villa yeah. Rose pattern fan and you kind of been collecting yeah. them, you don't have these. These are brand spanking brand new. new. You haven't seen them yet. This one is called Diamond Days. That one's cute. Really cute. And you can see that this fat one quarters? is just, um, yeah, all out of fat quarters and it's just quarter square triangles. It's kind of funny because it's not what it looks like. It is. No. But it's a quarter square triangle with a little border on it. That's pretty clever. Um, this one is Trade Winds. It uses a focus piece and one of those really cool ombre pieces or just an accent piece is up to you. Um, pretty cute. And it's 50 by 52. You'll notice. It's really cute. Right? It's pretty clever. And a lot of these patterns you'll see, they range from sizes from maybe runners to laps, always out of border, to maybe full to queen size. Just mm. depends on... You know, I like that one. I like this one because think of all of those fabrics that we think, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. What can well, I do with that? For the it's three pieces of fabric. Tina's garden. Right. That's what it looks like it is. Right. Because it's just your main piece and then that is an ombre piece and then one other little piece in the background there. Mm -hmm. Main print, accent border, background. Awesome. And then this one is called Piccadilly. And this one takes, oh, I feel like I don't want to say this out loud. A million squares. 180, two and a half inch various white prints to 180, two and a half inch various black prints. And then a contrast that is, does that say five eighths of a yard? Yeah. Five eighths of a yard. So what's kind of nice about that is you could take some strips and cut your two and a half inch squares or just Do some use stuff up. I think so many people have talked about, gosh, I have so much fabric. I need to figure out how to use On some up. Stuff. That's the other nice thing is that you can, we've done this multiple times before where I'll go in and clean her sewing room. <laughs> She'll go in and clean mine. And the other thing that's kind of nice is to take something and we just package it up. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, this is cute. This is cute. And I'm going to put this pattern in it. And all you need is a bag. Um, you can use just a regular gallon size Ziploc bag. Just don't seal it. I mean, well, I guess it depends on where you're from. We're in the desert up here, so mm -hmm. we don't have a lot of that humidity. But put it all in there. If you know that these are a bunch of little squares, I don't know what to do with it. Well, this is what you can do with it. Mm -hmm. And then again, you can see the or directions on there. Or if you have like a scrap really drawer, good. a two and a half inch strip, you just kind of part, keep yes. putting your two and a half inch strips or squares, leftovers. Mm -hmm. Tape that to the outside of your drawer so you know when the 
Once it's full, this is the plan. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is. Did you show the flag one? I didn't. I picked this one up first, but I wanted to look at this. This is kind of clever because the other thing is that it doesn't have to be just this flag. This was obviously a, a panel. panel. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that's what they did is they took this flag panel and then all they added was there's just two other borders there. I'm going to flip it over on the back and you can see it. You can see it a little bit easier. So here's where your panel is. And then you just have mm -hmm. a couple of borders, kind of a little focusy print here. I mean, this happens all the time where we have these show these really cool panels and then we're not sure what to do with it. And that's a big panel. So those um, Call the Wild Hoffman yep. panels, those really big one yard cut panels um, would totally work for these. Mm -hmm. So you can really... Um, figure out how to use that horizontal panel that you've been hanging yeah. on to and make it quilt size instead of, you know, oblongy. Or make it you wear it sideways. One, two, three, four, five. That five? Was five. That was all of them. Cool. All right, so they're brand new patterns on yep. the website or if you're interested in the club. The club, yeah, yeah. There's only so many, but I know that there's still some spots available, so that's kind of fun. And then, in fact, we should go ahead and show, should we do the show and tell first? Um, yeah, at the end. Because as Carolyn and Denise came in, they both have show and tell. And I happen to know that this one is a panel. Because I asked her yesterday, I saw it yesterday, and I said, oh gosh, could you cut some kids? So, I don't know, Carolyn? Oh, well, I, I think she cut, I think she cut three. Oh, cool. I think. So this is that panel that was called Wapiti. Wapiti? Wapito? Which is Wa Wapiti, because I think Wapiti is, um... Native American, maybe for um, for elk yeah. or reindeer caribou or, or whatever. caribou, whatever it is, whatever but, that. Yeah, with that thing <laughs> right there. He's a wapiti. But anyway, this particular panel, I think we only had five left in the store, so I think we decided to do three of them kit up in this fabric with this pattern. So there are two other panels left, or you could do the kit, and we'll have that linked for you. But it is a really cool pattern. So if you look up here at this, this is just a four patch. That um, that then turned into a square and a square, or a yeah, yeah. super super slick, beautiful, point. and then all of that North Cut fabric that goes with it. So anyway, absolutely gorgeous, really really nice, Beautiful. yeah, really pretty. And, and then, then Denise had Denise's, something? yeah, this is so cute. I just love this internet because do we have kits of this? I should. I was going to check before I. I might still have a I few. There's one like right th there. Yeah, I might have three, maybe. Mm. You'll know. It'll either be online or it won't. Um, but this is um, Fuss Bucket. And so the size of the kit, we end it when we do the kit, it ends with the white here. Mm -hmm. um, but she added one more border because this fabric is now on clearance. Yep. Isn't that cute? Super cute. It's so cute. Um, the fabric is Ladybug Mania. Ladybug Mania. Yeah. Yeah. And there's none of the, the reason it was on clearance is all that was left was some of these little, little pieces, prints. but all of these big pieces um, were all gone. So. But you can get them in your kit. Yeah. Yeah. They're all in the kit. Super cute. Yeah. Really cute. cute. I think it's such a fresh it fabric is. and yeah. I really like it. She did a really nice job. The other thing that's nice about Fuss Bucket is that you can turn those blocks any way you want to. She was worried and said, oh, I'm not sure if I got them right. It's like, there is no right. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Super cute. Did a really nice job. And uh, she wanted to make sure that everybody knew that she made that, not Devon. Ooh, yes. Okay. Devon's Devon. very much more the embroiderer and she likes the yeah. piecing. Yeah. I mean, she likes the embroidery too, but yeah. yeah, but when she gets time on the machine, right? <laughs> He's always doing something. Yeah, I think it's because it's like mechanical, you know. Yeah, it's every husband when we have a running here in the shop, they just are mesmerized. Watch it. We used to do that when we um, we used to do our long arm quilting here in the shop, and um, we would be quilting on something. We ended up putting a mirror. Out. So we yeah. could see if someone was behind us, because you would stop and all yeah. of a sudden they'd say, hey, what are you doing? Oh my God. How, how are you doing that? Yeah. But what pattern is it? It's in my head. Yeah. It's, I'm just yeah. moving it. And so it was, mm -hmm. was, we finally took the machine and people say, oh, you don't put in the shop anymore. No, you, we haven't met our You house. guys are distracting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is oh. cute. Oh, Little this is jungle. like the Jungle Friends. Jungle Buddies. They must have done a reprint on this. Right. This is antique. I remember yes. this from back in the day. This was, yeah, blank fabric. They, um, I do remember this. They used to, 
Maybe there's another box coming. They used to do just the zebras, um, zebras or... and just the um, Let me turn up. the monkeys and. It's really cute. It's so it's so happy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Oh, someone's talking to you. Oh, you're in a group. <laughs> I'm in a group chat. <laughs> so we're here. This is called Jungle Buddies. It looks like we just have four pieces though. Hmm. Well, three and a panel. A panel. And is that a border? And this is a border, just a small. Um, well, but it's just a clear fabric, so you could put it with a blue or a brown or a yellow or a. You know, that's what's really really nice when they don't use really weird, strange, right, um, tonal pieces. Oh, and this is like is this a panel. Is that a big one? Running. Oh, I don't know where the line Here's is. Here's your border print. So it runs salvage to salvage, not length of yardage. Oh yeah. So you can do a quick receiving blanket. Um, you could do like a base bottom of like a diaper bag or a trim on, you know, baby sheet. Super cute. And they probably did that because this is it must be it's way bigger than ten inches. It looks like it's probably eleven or twelve. Yeah. You could also, you know, just leave that and. Yeah, just put mm -hmm. um, a, a piece on the back of it. And you could still do um, uh, pillowcases, whether you want this to be your cuff or you want it to be the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. But yeah, absolutely. You can cut it into blocks. <gasps> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Blocks would be cute. Mm -hmm. It's adorable. It's super cute. You can uh, starch it to the wall. We still need to show them. You haven't showed them that? <laughs> no. They became editing. Early and messed everybody up. Yeah, they did. We went and spent a bunch of time in um, Brianna's nursery, and oh yeah, there's a line there. Thank goodness we did. Oh, here. Yeah. Other, <laughs> and we. I mean, not oh. that she's sleeping in there yet. What and, are you just unrolling? I don't know it. What unrolling was happening? It. I was looking for the line. There it is. And um, maybe we can enter. We can put a couple of pictures in for you because what we did is. Um, if there were a border print and you could starch it up to the wall, but there wasn't a border print that Brianna wanted. What she picked was this really pretty bright purple cape mm -hmm. fabric, which was kind only of only for my children because it used all of it. I have it like did. I have nothing left of it, and I can't. It I we don't have it anymore. It did, but but the other thing that's nice is once you decide you don't like that anymore, you can take that off the wall, wash it, and put it into a quilt. You've not ruined anything. Right. So anyway, we'll show a picture. To you, but this is adorable. That is really cute. It's so happy. Yeah, super cute crumb cake whiskers. option. It's funny. I would just keep this and put some fun borders on it, is all I think I would do. I think it's super cute. <laughs> it's a little scared. Right? I love that. I love the um, yeah. expressions. Those guys are up to no good. No, they're not. <coughs> That's hilarious. Super cute. All right. So a panel. A border print, an all over, Animal and then and, um, and a jungle, jungle leaves. leaves. Yeah, yeah. Super cute. Super cute. Just little. And again, you know, we mention this all the time. If you pick some of these, and then you pick a blue or something, and if you just put in the notes, hey, make sure I got the right blue. I'm trying to match the dark one. We'll help you. Yeah. And I love that people are really getting used to that. They're saying, I know these don't match. It's just it, it doesn't matter. I'm just matter. shopping. I'm just shopping. It's like, oh, oh thank good. you for telling me that. Okay. Yeah, and then they'll also say, I ordered four yards, but if you have less, I'll take it. Because otherwise we call. Because we assume if you're ordering four yards or six yards, you probably want it for backing. So nothing would be worse than getting three and a half yards and knowing you can't use it for back. So we'll call you. But if you put down, I need four, but if I got... Because sometimes if you get the last of the bolt, something might happen and we were off. Because they'll tell us on the top of the bolt how much they sent us. They're not always right. They no. might say they sent us a 15 yard bolt, but maybe we only got 14 yards. Or worse, they have it in a couple of pieces. Yeah. So we unroll it and we can't cut you a three yard piece or a four yard piece because there's a funny little whack in it, which mm -hmm. is never gonna work for a backing. Um, but the other thing that will happen is if we get to the end and we know that you got what was left in there with an extra, say half a yard, we throw that in. So those of you that have seen that a lot and we have a little plus there, it says end of the bolt. Mm -hmm. It's because we just threw in so we don't have to deal with remnants. Yeah. So, all right. Pretty fun luck of the draw. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Who's going to get the end of the bolt. I know. I know. Okay. And then another one is this. Uh, I think this free spirit. And what was that called? Did we tell them? Uh, Jungle, Jungle Buddies. Jungle Buddies. Jungle Buddies. Oh, let me see this one. Let's 
Sweet scissors. Ooh, Ooh, that's pretty. That's awesome. Kind of like a, a seashell. Ooh. It even has the girls from the Cute. Mm. Oh, oh, man. man. That's really pretty. Hopefully that's the same thing. Oh, yes. Ooh. This is really pretty. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm going to turn this off. We're going to get the plastic off. And they'll show you. Take those. a little look and then we'll show you. This, this is, is really so pretty. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Now, do we know what it's called? Shell Rummel. Oh, she, no, she's the designer. She's, oh, Touchstones. Oh, Shell Touch. Rummel. Touchstones. She should have known. Yeah, so I remember. Touchstones. So, um, absolutely beautiful. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna show you here in a second. But um, we decided we are going to go ahead and do some one-yard cuts because mm -hmm. um, there's 12. 12, yes. 12 pieces. And some half yard cuts. And some half yard cuts. Because you'll see there's like four pieces that I'm thinking the only way you're going to get it if you're one of those light, late shoppers is in the bundles. Because okay. um, this, and it's only 10 yard bolts. Which yeah. Is and that's why we, because we've talked about this before, but you know, we just put it up online, let you guys buy it. But again, if you can't watch right at 1230 and you're mm -hmm. not watching until in the afternoon, there's certain pieces that will be gone. So if you really wanted the collection, that's why. We don't cut that's a lot beautiful. of them um, so that, because with only 10 yards, we still have to make sure that there's enough on there for so you guys want to get borders and different things. But yeah. yeah, but at least it's good to be able to see it. And, um, and of course, what happens is if it's not online, it means that it's gone. Someone beat you to it. Or it would have meant that I didn't get it on there right, which was uh, the barn panel. Yeah, we ran out of all yeah. the other fabric and have those barn panels, and it's like, oh, luckily I found it on Etsy. Oh, luckily yeah. I found it on Etsy. Oh, Dang. Sorry about that. But anyway, so if you don't see it, it's because it's gone, yeah. but um, we will do some collections so you get them. But, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, do you want yeah, to do a really close-up? Yeah. And It is really, really pretty. It's very restful. Yeah, and she There's did a really good job her with her textures and um, mm -hmm. the colors. Beautiful. It's oceany without being fishy, you know? Right. I yeah. mean, there's... If you don't have any kind of an ocean thing, but you have this really pretty kind of burnt orange. Yeah, it's like look. sea glass is what it makes me think of. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Okay. Okay, so you're back ready. to... Yep. So she's calling this one as Ocean Jewels. Looks like a little sand dollar. Yeah, just a little jade. And then this jade, this is really, you'll see this jade is in many of the pieces, but man, look at that. What? This one is a floating ginkgo. I don't know what ginkgo has to do with the ocean, but. It's pretty, I don't even it's care that it's a It doesn't leaf. matter. It's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then there's this one. And I'm not sure what she's calling this one. Treasure. Beautiful. So pretty. I just love these colors. Yeah, that I love that blue and the teal. And oh, mm -hmm. that's such a nice combination. And then this is just a really cool little texture. She has this in a couple of colors. So it's there's little lines, very un, um, irregular, and then little dots. And then she also has this in kind of this burnt orange that you'll see in a second. And these are these little, oh, right? It's like carns. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly just again such a restful. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. And it's on a bright white background. So if you're yes, bright white. If you needed a solid, and then this one is just gosh, it just looks, looks like to me. It looks bits. like sea glass. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it looks like. She's calling it mosaic geo, oh. but. Yeah, it, it looks, I mean, I feel like I can see a bottle. But, oh, I love that one. I can't decide which one is my favorite. But look at this one. Oh, my gosh. This one. Yeah, this one this is going to be. Awesome. Man, look at that. She's calling this one Gone Rogue Floral. <laughs> we did not get enough of this fabric. No, it's that really pretty. That is beautiful. And this little orange, it's kind of nice because it's just a subtle, a beautiful tiny accent. little bit. Just a really nice little accent because you'll see then she added 
that little orange. So here are more of the ginkgos. And see, and you can see there's orange here that you almost didn't notice. And so it's nice to kind of add that extra color. And then there's still some of that green in there. It's just beautiful and soft. And then here's this one that again, you can see there's the blues and the greens in there. And then that really pretty orange. And that's that same that's in that one. And then here's that burnt orange that I mentioned. That's that same pattern as this one. Cool. Yeah, all of those together. And then one more little texture in the dark, dark blue, which is kind of cool. That's that same color that's here. Really pretty. And then again, I just, I don't have, I don't know I that know. I have a favorite. It, I, I would have to do the two yards of each. Right. So I better hurry. But, oh, I don't even know. I love that. What this is. And it repeats, so it's this on the same side, so it kind of starts over. I'll open it like that so you can see it. Oh, that's so pretty. It is so beautiful. Oh. Landscapey. Yeah. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. This is not going to be in the store very long at all. No. I mean... If you're watching this on a Monday. Oh, oh sorry. Slim Pickens, maybe. All right. Uh, we'll get these out of the way. And then I think we got two more big old two Benner text big boxes. Big humongous Benner text boxes. Yeah. Okay. We were talking uh, before we moved all of this stuff. And we thought um, just in case you are picking out a quilt and you wanted to get a piece for backing. And maybe you thought, oh, this would be perfect for backing. And there's not enough in there. That probably is going to happen because I think this fabric will go pretty quickly. You'll be able to see the item number if you want to try to find it from another a local shop or something. That would be one option. Another option is I went back to the backing fabrics that we have just to see if I could pick something out for you. And I want to show you two things. I want to show you the two that will not work, but you'll think they will, and the two that I would pick. So first of all, this one at first glance, possibly the picture on the website, it might seem like it will, but super clashy because this is very, very bright. So if you look at the difference, this is very clear colors and you can see that this fabric is more tinted. It almost has a little bit of gray in it and so it's not going to work really well with something that's a really bright what clear What is that color. one called? Oh, this one, if because this, this is lovely. And this one is called, it's 108 Daydreams the skew ends in 5400. Oh, so no color. I was just going to say if it's yeah. daydreams, you know, aquamarine or whatever. But. Um, I don't see a color on it. And then this one is another one that is daydreams and same thing. So then you'd think, but you can see there's no lime green in here. Yeah. So this one and then was a pastel -y version. Second one I picked because I thought, oh no, no, no lime green. This one is also daydreams. Really pretty. Uh, and this one, the skew, it doesn't give me a color, but it ends in 9319 is the skew number. Um, but let me show you a solid white. Really any solid white. If you happen to have some white backing, but the white, it really is a crisp white. Mm -hmm. And look how clean and fresh that looks, you know, with a white. So you could use a white as your background. You can always use a white as your backing. That's something that I tend to buy a lot of. I'll buy it usually even extra wides. I'll buy it in three yard chunks so that I have a 108 by 108. So white with a pattern or white solid or white with a little bit of something. And then this was the other one that I wanted to show you. This one actually looks Ooh, really that good. Looks really pretty. It looks really good with it. It's this same kind of um, soft tealy color. It's really pretty with it. And this one is called Plume Caribbean 108. It is a batik, if that matters to you. And um, the SKU number is 992645. And maybe. I, will, I will put this bolt and the white, if any of the bright white backgrounds are extra whites, I'll put in with this uh, Touchstone oh, collection for you. Because I got that wrong. It's 992646. 646. Power glasses. Sorry. I found my glasses. So, yeah, so, anyway. I'll stick them in there for you guys so you guys can, um, 
if you'd liked those options we showed you, you can. And you know, the other thing too is when it comes to backing, everybody's a little bit different, you know. I do like to get my backing when I get my quilt, my fabric so that I know mm -hmm. that the color is right. Um, but the other thing is I don't, if I don't know what I'm gonna make with it, you know, I don't know, is it gonna end up being a twin or is it gonna end up being a queen? Uh, which is why I get a whole lot of three, three yard yards. chunks of extra wide. Yeah. So but I have But even options. if you decide that your taste has changed and you're never ever gonna put that on the back of the fabric, because what was I thinking? <laughs> um, you can use it just like regular fabric. Yeah. Cut yeah. it up, use it as something different, because sometimes in smaller pieces it looks different than in this big, huge, yeah. 108 inch chunk. Yeah. And I think that's the other thing. We do a um, our, our retreat that we're doing the end of June, I think. It's one that we think of as our beginning. We do a whole big color class in that we spend a whole day talking about color, talking about tints, shades, tones, clear, um, and then we practice by putting things together. And um, anyway, so we talk a lot about that. So understanding that what you're looking for is a tint or a shade. Uh -huh. um, and, and this is a tint because it is white background. All right. Okay. Benetex on to Benetex. One of them. Let me take Thank this you, little packing stuff out of here. Don't. Oh, maybe not. I'll do it. Packing. We're gonna yeah. cheat and see what it was. I'll wrap it. Oh, you know, I was just thinking we have not seen batiks for a long time. Well, look no, here. What Indonesians? It's. I don't know what's happening. They're busy down there. Yeah. Oh, and your little six inch oh, bolt. The little teasers. Teasers. So I'm guessing we got all of it then. All of it. My guess we is must is. have. Every once in a while, when they introduce new colors um, or a new something, they'll do these little intro six yard bolts, mm -hmm. which gives us a chance to say, oh, these two sold out really quickly, or these, you know, we still haven't sold any, we have six yeah. yards left. And it's a nice way to get the whole collection, see the whole thing. And I love that it's wow. not just this marble tone, but there's also prints. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty great. So my guess is both of these boxes are full of boutiques. So I'm gonna grab the other box, start taking off plastic, and then we'll show you up close. Mm, okay. All right, we're back and we're laughing because Brianna's being very productive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like we gotta wrap this up, Mom. Good. Tick tock. <laughs> and so uh, I'll show you this and then I'll get the baby suit. We'll show you this and then the yeah. Thing. Yeah, you haven't got to see her. Yeah, not even really here. So She's we'll just... um we'll show you these really pretty batiks and then we'll have the baby say her. Her. Yes, yes. These are really pretty. These are it's beautiful. um kind of a shame it's only six yards because I think yeah. some of these I would take all of them. Yeah, so we're not gonna do any half yard cuts, anything like that, because yeah, yeah these are gonna these are go pretty. super fast. They're very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. And you know, we talk about batiks all the time. Some people do not like batiks. They don't like the feel of them. Um, mm -hmm. It's just the way that they make it. They do have an extra, um, there's kind of a little waxy coating on them because of the way that they dye them. What's really nice about batiks is there's really technically in a quilting world, no right or wrong side. So that's why mm -hmm. I like them. That's why paper piecers like them because mm -hmm. our biggest mistake with paper piecing is we've cut it the wrong, way. It the wrong way. And so it makes it really nice. Um, and the other thing is if what you don't like about them is that waxy feeling, by the time you've washed it three times, mm -hmm. that goes away. So it, you know, it's just a finish that's on it. So yeah. it doesn't matter. And you can absolutely wash them before you use them. You can. Also. Mm -hmm. um, wash them in hot water. It'll do the pre-shrink. It'll melt off all that little wax goodness. Yeah. And wash it just like you wash anything else. Yeah. A little bit of detergent. I don't. I Not don't either. want to do And I don't mind the feel of it. It's right. just stuck. And I like that it's, yeah, I was going to like that it's stiff. I mean, yeah. I know it feels funny because it's not used to our luscious, you know, yeah. um, our gallery The softeners. Fabric. Yeah. Because all of the other cottons, they add one of their finished pieces is they add a softener in a little to it. bath. Yeah. yeah, this has no softener, has no softener on it. it. Yeah, but yeah, it is amazing. After you have your quilt done and quilted, and you wash it the very first time before you gift it, it is gorgeous. Yeah, and it soft. is nice. I think to get that saturated color, you know, you don't get that so much, yeah. you know, with. But anyway, so it really is pretty, and it's two different colorways here. Um, it's called summer course, the warm ones, there's 13 pieces, and then it's called Caribbean, and there's 13 pieces, and they are beautiful. So there's kind of those mottled, solid-y pieces, and then, like Brianna said, there's these little textures that are in there. And I should also mention, we do also have some two and a half inch strips 
of the summer. Um, we do not have two and a half inch ships of the Caribbean. Donna Strunz got those. <laughs> um, and then we also have some 10 inch squares of the summer and we have 10 inch squares of the Caribbean. Okay. And one thing too to mention is that there is o there's only 13 pieces so you've got some duplicates. You've probably got three. Can you still each. have 40 or 42 You still have the though. 42 which is everybody's patterns you know mm -hmm. are based on that. So all right so we'll go through this fairly quickly. It's pretty cute. Pretty easy to yeah. to see here. So you know they make them all with these chops so there's a little bit of irregularity which is makes it super awesome. But there's all a bunch of oranges. That's the orange solid. That one is beautiful. Has that yellow, a little bit of pink in there, which is really nice. Now we get into the pink. There's the pink solid. Ooh, that's a hot pink. That's, a lot. Mm -hmm. that's fantastic. And then that little texture, it's little all paisley. Paisley. And then, oh, the pink and orange. Oh, I don't I know what it's like. Fire. That, that is a great color. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have to touch it. And then a raspberry beautiful. You can see the difference between the raspberry and the pink. Mm -hmm. Fairly significant difference. And then this one has the pink in the background, yellow and orange. And then the little starbursty, I don't know. Yellow firework things. Teeth. Could be anything. Flowers. Orange with all that yellow. And then we get into the yellow solid. Beautiful. And that's it's super coming bright. kind of like neon through it, but that's like a oh, sunflower no. yellow. It is a sunflower, crisp, yes. clear yellow. Gorgeous. Yeah. And then here is our little yellow with gosh, Love there's it. a couple colors. There's kind of a pale blue and then that a little bit of a, like a pale purple. Lime green. A good Chartreuse. transition piece if you want to put a little bit of pink, yes. yellow, and blues together. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Chartreuse. I don't know. Can you tell awesome. the difference? So now you can see. That oh, that's now green, you can green. see. Yep. Yellow, yellow. Yep. And bright, bright yellow. Yeah. Oh, love it. Beautiful. Totally different from Shell Rummels. Yeah. So you almost think though, kind of what I saw. No, no lime green or yellow in hers, of course. The very clear colors instead of the yes, more gray tones. Exactly. Oh, beautiful. Again, tiny little bit of pink if you wanna. Add some of those in there. Really pretty chop, really pretty pattern. Blue, oh, sage. Love Not the same Not the color same. as shell. Totally different. Just gonna it's say. Crazy. I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna pull this over. Totally here. different. So you see that difference? See? Yep. Not you believed that was sage, which it was, mm -hmm. but just different. Beautiful sky blue. with a little, again, just a little bit of kind of a purpley, really nice clear blue. And this one is another one that this one really is really more lime green. Let me show you the difference. And now yep. that looks totally yellow, right? Yeah, it does. Funny. Lime green, yellow. Isn't that yeah, you funny? can tell the difference. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah. They're really cool pieces. Yeah, they're fantastic. And then where do we leave off? Oh, here's that other. This is a light, 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 light blue. Yeah, and very so here's pale. Here's the three blues. The light blue with theirs. Can you see there's a little bit of limey mm -hmm. green? There's That's a little overcast. Out. It's a perfect background. If you're doing yeah. like a blue grain quilt, you need something background that's not white yeah. or solid. Yeah. It'd be very pretty. And then a bright blue and a light blue. And that almost is reading more green. Yeah, to it me, really could. I mean, in, in person. Oh, and then there's one other blue. Ooh, I guess I guess I have oh, to get beautiful. that guy in there. You got sky, light, medium, dark. Yeah. And the difference between these two, this is a a clear, pretty much just blue, just blue. This has a little bit of teal on it. Maybe some sagey. What what color would you call it? Yeah, Can you see that? Teal. Is that coming through, right? Uh, they can't see it really through mm. the camera. Yeah, it has a little cast of green to it. So that's the difference with those blues. And then cool little texture in all of the greens. And then here, this puts these colors together. Oh yeah. See those. So these all have that green, green, green. Blue, blue. Very cool. Little green. Oh, I just love it. I love playing with it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we will not do, there's only six yards of each one. 
Um, it is reorderable, which makes it kind of nice. That's why we do that. We'll get all of the colors and then kind of see what mm -hmm. was super popular and then we'll reorder it. So you'll see it again, but yep. it's nice to be able to see it. And then, um, so we're not gonna do half yard cuts or anything like that. And then, um, then we're gonna get the baby. She's like, Mom, I was deep it. <laughs> so all of the red hair. Oh, she's look at that red hair. I know she's she's not sweating. She's not hot enough. Little she's tiny teeny. little ears. Let me um get up a little closer. She's adorable. A you guys say hi. Oh, oh Mom, I'm so sleepy. I know. We get to take a real bath. I'm excited for her. Oh yeah, because finally her little yeah umbilical cord. She's got herself her very old little belly button. <laughs> you gonna open your eyes? No. Nope. No. No, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna squeak for She's a minute. She's gonna squeak and stretch. You gonna wink at him? Nothing? Nothing. Oh. Oh. No. Let's see him stretch. Oh, stretch out those little toes. See, that's those little <laughs> tiny little baby socks. Your little knee highs. Her. <laughs> I know. Oh, there she goes. Oh, She's gonna open her eyes a little bit. Sometimes she'll open her eyes for me. Sometimes. Oh, oh there. <laughs> She's oh. gonna blow some bubbles. <laughs> sleepy girl. Hey. Hey. Sleepy girl. She's a sleepy thing. Hey. Hey. Nope. Not right. Whoa, whoa. She's doing? like, whoa, the sun is out. Oh, oh man. Hey. It's gonna be time to eat. So I can probably wait up for that. <laughs> She's trying to stretch because I'm not sure if I want to wake up. Uh, oh. She's a cutie. <laughs> She's a cutie. She is. All right, let me come back out. Couldn't get much of a eye open in there. No. As soon as we turn this off, she's going to wake yeah, all yeah, up. It's not like she's fussy at all, though. No. She doesn't cry no. at all. Oh, there you go. And she... um. Yeah, and doesn't just react. Last night, Robert was hiding from the kids, um, scared them, and they come out, run and scream, and it's like, oh my, you guys, your baby, and not doing face. Yeah. Nah, she maybe opened her eye to see what was going on, and that was it. She opens her eyes until we look at her. And then she always holds her hands, like a little boxing. She, even for all her ultrasound pictures, she holds them like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is so rough. She is, how old is she today? 17, 17 days. 17 days and five and a half pounds. Long fingers. Yeah, she has really long fingers. I think she's gonna be tall, I think so. I mean, she's well, only in that 3% percentile, so. Yeah, <laughs> she's got some catching up to do. But well, when you count that she came I mean, out early. And yeah, yeah. It's, you know, when do we start counting? That? Yeah, when does it really matter? Oh, look at oh. the lower lip. That's what Wyatt wants to learn. Mm. It's her little pouty lip. She does it so good. She has a good pouty lip. Yeah, she's better, no, oh, she smiled. <laughs> she better learn that because if she does that pouty look to dad, she'll, mm. oh, whatever you want, it's fine, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said no. <laughs> I tried to teach Wyatt the pouty lip and I said, then just shake it just a little. And he can, he can do it. So you watch your baby, your baby will show you. <clears throat> she'll teach you a trick or two. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm. she's still a lot of fun. Instagram. All right, Hi. we're gonna keep squeezing the baby a little bit, and uh, <laughs> you guys have fun shopping. And let's see, we opened it was so long um, ago. Batiks, Jungle Buddies, jun mm -hmm. Jungle, Jungle Buddies, Buddies Shell Rummel's line that uh, was called Touchstone, Touchstone, so, and these brand new boutiques, and brand new boutiques, and what's um, there Villa Rosa. Else? Oh, and Villa Rosa. The next uh, five patterns. So again, you can yeah. find those individual, individual, or, or you can sign up for the club and just get them. If you sign up for the club, it is kind of fun because if there's yeah, mm -hmm. it's just fun just to put in a little. Yeah. Or even for a friend, Card. you can either get them shipped to you or let us know in the notes and say, hey, I'm buying this for a friend. Oh, yeah. Can you ship a it to Susie in Texas? A couple people did that yeah. and said, um, two, but send this one to my friend. Yeah. yeah. Super yeah. cool. A little gift from, you know, Yeah, super month. fun. Nice little, yeah. nice little reminder every month of something. your quilt, buddy. All, All right. right. All right, you guys. Have the rest of your day. See you Wednesday. Bye. Bye.
Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.